guys, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. This time we're out at Tallgrass Shooting Sports. I want to say a huge thank you to Mike and Lisa for allowing me to come out here and bring you guys this video. I also want to say a huge thank you to my Patreon crew. They're the sponsors of this video and allowing me to purchase the plate for this test and we're going to get into that here in just a second so if you guys are interested in becoming a patreon member and supporting the channel financially really would appreciate that link down in the description below okay so let's get into it i bought this level four plate from la police gear a few months ago and just trying to get out to the range to do a video on this has been a little bit challenging uh, a lot of things going on here at the range for Mike and Lisa, and I'm really happy that things are picking up for them, but finally got some range time. And we're going to shoot some stuff at this to see how well it's going to hold up against a number of different calibers. So let's talk about the plate here real quick. On the back side, I'll get a close-up picture so you guys can see, but this is a uh, level 4 NIJ level plate. What does that mean? NIJ is the national standard for ballistic uh, protection and while this is not been certified by NAJ this has been manufactured to their specifications so you don't necessarily have NIJ's national certification yada 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 but you can be rest assured that LA Police Gear does manufacture these to their standards so I believe we should not have any issues with what we're going to shoot at this today and this not stopping anything. So level four is uh, going to be the highest protection that you can purchase for these types of plates. Uh, this particular plate is going to be a ceramic and polyethylene hybrid. So you're gonna have ceramic core with polyethylene on the outside, which allows it to be a multi-strike surface or at least it should be. So we're going to find that out here in just a second. What we're going to do is we're going to take this plate and we're going to duct tape it onto that box back there. That is the only time that we're going to cut on this video. We're going to uh, stop the video here in just a second, set everything up, and then when we start, we're not stopping. It's going to be a one take deal, and if I miss, because the internet already says I can't shoot anyway, uh, I miss and you guys are going to see it for yourself what are we shooting that's the big question so let's pan on down here uh, first and foremost we're going to be starting with nine millimeters a Glock 19 Gen 5 MOS uh, from there we're going to move up to the 762 by 39 this is an Arsenal SLR 107 R then we're going to move to the Palmetto State Armory 20 inch AR 15 we're going to move back over here to the Glock 21 with the 460 Roland mod, um, mod um, conversion kit rather on that. And then over here, last thing we're going to shoot is 300 Win Mag. I am fully confident that this is going to survive the 9mm, the 7.62x39, the 5.56 out of a 20 inch barrel. Uh, I'm skeptical on the 460 Roland, should have no problems with that. And then the 300 Win Mag, that is going to be something I'm really interested in seeing. And that's going to be shot out of a uh, Remington Model 700. So um, huge thank you to my boy, freaking Kansas Law Dog. He's hit, set me up with this, uh, this bolt gun. And we're going to see what we can do. So we're going to cut right here and come back here in just a second. Okay, guys, so we just cut to uh, set everything up. I've got a box right here full of dirt. Uh, to make sure that I have some type of solid backstop so this plate doesn't go flying all over the place. Hopefully it won't. And uh, we're not going to take this off after every round that we shoot at it. Uh, I'll take a look behind here to see if there's been any type of deformation or penetration. And then we'll cut it away after we're all said and done and take a look at the back side of it. Uh, again, we'll be shooting 9 millimeter. Uh, we will be shooting 762 by 39 556 460 rolling and 300 wind mag I'm pretty sure that it should stop all of that but we'll see how it goes from there and this is live from here on out we're not stopping from here so excuse the uh, the camera uh, we'll do the best we can from here we've got a camera over here that will be on the target so you guys can see that 
It's a nice little homemade setup that we got going, but we do what we can. So we're going to have my buddy, uh, Kansas Law Dog, get that started up and going, and then we'll get started here right now. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so for all you safety Nazis, all of the uh, firearms here have been cleared and are pointed away from the target. So as we're getting up and walking towards the target, uh, nothing is in line of sight, okay? Uh, first and foremost, we're starting with the Glock 19 Gen 5 MOS, and we have uh, 115 grain wolf uh, because that's what I can get. So screw you guys. Here we go. <laughs> all righty. Um, Got it clear, set that aside. Let's go take a look. Good center mass shot. Right here. Nine millimeter. And looking through the back here, I don't see any type of deformation. We'll get a better look afterwards, but uh, like I said, we're going to go do this live, so if I miss, you guys are going to see it, and the internet will be proven right that I can't shoot. So here we go. Let's take a look at the next one, see what we can do from there. Okay, next one is a 20-inch AR-15. We will be shooting XM 193. Um, 55 grain, 5.56. Five, so here we go. I'm going to try to shoot to the left, or yeah, to the left ever so slightly to see if I can get a different impact. one did some damage. Let's set that aside. Let's go take a look. As you can see, that is a massive crater right there, and you can see the fragments on the inside. Um, as it stands right now, there is some deformation on the back side, but I don't see, I don't see any penetration. So um, there we go. I'm going to aim to the right this time for the 762 by 39. But we'll put right here 556. Five, All righty. Let's go see what we can do on the next one. So we got the uh, Arsenal 107R shooting 123 grain wolf. Shooting hopefully to the right. Pretty sure I got this zeroed in, so we'll see what we can do here. Set that aside. Let's go take a look. Again, really, really good penetration here. A nice crater, but there is no penetration from what I can see up front. Deformation on the back for sure, but no, no penetration from what I can see right here. 
Uh, next round that we're going to shoot is the 460 Roland out of a Glock 21. I'm going to try to aim up here. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I'll hit it. I've never shot it before, so hopefully I can get up top, and then we'll see if we can get down down below on the next one from there. So let's try that. Okay, 460 Roland. I don't know the grain on this bullet. Uh, this was loaned to me by a good, good buddy of mine, Sharper Shooter, so I appreciate him for loaning me this. And I've actually changed my mind. I'm going to aim towards the lower portion on this one and leave the upper portion for the uh, 300 Win Mag. So we'll go, uh, go from here. That's a, this is a bigger gun than I'm used to, so... <laughs> Here we go. Try to get the lower portion. Question is, did I hit it? Let's go take a look. That is a bigger punch than I was expecting. <laughs> I actually did hit it. Right there is where I hit it. And it blew right through because it did not hit the plate. It hit the soft portion of it. So as you can see right here is where I hit that 460. Um, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to chamber a new round and I'm going to get closer on it and try to get into this portion of it right here. So let's see what we can do. And I'm actually going to step away from the bench to get a little bit closer. So there you go, internet. <laughs> I can't shoot. All right. So, uh. Stay right there. Let's see what we got. Move to five yards. Again, trying to hit that lower left quadrant. Let's see what we can do here. Again, never shooting this pistol before, so. So the impact was right here, and I'm not going to be able to see if I got any penetration, but it doesn't appear, it doesn't appear that I did. So we'll take a look at that here in just a second. So. A little higher than I was expecting, but we'll go from there. All right, now we're going to set up with the uh, 460 Roland, or uh, not 460 Roland, I'm sorry, 300 Wind Mag. Thanks, boss. This is uh, 180 grain, 300 Wind Mag. Um, only shot one of this, uh, only shot this rifle once before, um, so <laughs> we'll see how well I can go about this. So I'm going to aim towards the top and see what we can do from there. Yeah. 
Here, here we go. Good hit. Exactly where I wanted it. Rifle's clear. Let's go take a look. That one, that one really did some damage there, and we're going to see if there was any penetration. I'm thinking it did make some penetration, so let's see what we can do to get into this. Yep. I tell you what, man, it's so awesome to have some helpers out here at the range to be able to do this for you guys. Uh, trying to do this on my own would have really, really sucked. Okay, here's the test. As you can see, no penetration down here whatsoever. So the 556, 762 by 39, nine millimeter, 460 rolling, no problem. Here is where you have the 300 wind mag right there. I don't know, what do you, you say? I don't, that's not penetration. There's no penetration here. So this right here is from the sheer force of the 300 wind mag hitting at 10 yards. That's about, yeah, that's about 10 yards. So uh, LA police gear stopped every single round minus the uh, 460 Roland, which was right up here at the top and missed all of the, um, missed all of the uh, protective layers. And as you can see right here, it is, layer upon layer of polyethylene. We'll get close-up pictures of that uh, so you can see as long as as well as all of the close-up pictures of the insides. Um, it's going to be a ceramic core. So uh, at the end of the day, am I here to tell you that this is what you should buy? That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to provide you guys with information as to if you purchase this for yourself, then uh, you guys need to know what it's going to be able to stop. 5.56, 762 by 39, nine millimeter, no problem. 460 rolling, which is right here, um, did not come out on the backside. And uh, 300 wind mag, it stopped it too. But uh, at the end, <laughs> you're gonna have a bad day. Uh, you're gonna have a bad day on any of them. There is some deformation right here on the 460 rolling and the 5.56, a little bit with the 762 by 39. And then I can't really tell if there's anything going on with the nine millimeter, but I doubt that there would be. So, man, there you guys, there you guys go, man. That that was actually a really cool uh, video to do to to test this plate. I am going to tell you right now that the uh, plate carrier the review that I just got done doing for um, uh, HRT with their rack plate carrier, these are the plates that I'm using, and I feel a little bit more confident having this in my plate carrier so uh, take that for what you will run it if you think you can run it uh, if you can afford it these were running about uh, when I purchased it it was hundred and twenty dollars per plate so you're looking at about 140 plus tax and shipping and if you guys are interested in finding a link to these plates I will have one over on fitandfire.com just go into the plate carrier tab and I'll have these plates uh, in there for you guys with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. I want to say a huge thank you again to not only Mike and Lisa for allowing me to shoot out here at Tallgrass Shooting Sports, but I also want to say a huge thank you to uh, one of my biggest Patreon supporters in uh, Shocker Shooter for loaning me the 460 Roland. That thing is pretty freaking awesome. Another huge thank you to uh, my wonderful camera operator for hanging out with me and, and doing, doing this for me instead of uh, having to do it myself. And then a huge thank you to uh, the um, Kansas Law Dog for also helping out not only with knives, cameras, and a 300 win <laughs> 
you guys haven't already considered it, I would appreciate you uh, taking the uh, time to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys think about this plate carrier. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. With that being said, we'll get out of here. As always, freedom through strength. Here comes a high five. Catch you guys later. Bye, y'all.